checking out the brake. That's the top one here. They got they should be fixed now. Okay, Sandy said so now push on it and rock it a little bit. This is the way it rocks. Now I'm gonna put the brake on. Don't, did it stop it? See, it doesn't move, right? Yeah, it doesn't move. It doesn't Do it again. No. Did you feel like it stopped? It stopped it, yeah. All right. Finally. Just thousands of times. <laughs> after I was working on this thing all week long. Here it is in the maintenance hangar. It's been in here with every, with all of its friends. Probably feels like it's at home. They know. I, I checked it out outside. Right. It's been here for two or three three weeks. You know the guy. Oh, well, yes. two, two, two to three. I don't know. It went in here at the end of. I haven't even been able to fly it for like, a while. for a long time. This doesn't even count. A couple for, weeks or so. Yeah, I mean, this ain't even counting my time, let alone the thousands of dollars I poured into these brakes. I mean, I can see why Bates, because you got to take that whole thing off. Jimmy probably doesn't know how this works, but you got to do the whole thing and re re dye it. You know, re recast it. We cast it so that, that brake, the brake line, no, I'm not done there. So that brake line fits, but it's, it goes into especially, especially tooled machine cylinder down here in this little thing. This little elbow down here is real critical. And then the calipers and so forth, and then finally gets the wheel. And all that had to be taken off. And since he said the other side was close, because he looked at it, I had him do this side too. So I spared no expense. But he didn't tell me it's going to take a couple of weeks. But you know, you get the part, you get it off, and then the parts don't fit. But see, this brick. Actually, I don't see this brick line. Oh, there it is down there. Right, see, it goes down in there. Then it comes in. Then the caliper. Now the caliper is aluminum. Jimmy doesn't know. See, that's it goes in there, and then it grabs the brake shoes, which you can, I guess you can see them right in there. You can see the brake shoes. Probably it'd be better to do this in the day, but I'm, I just wanted to get out there and inspect it because I got to sign off on it. I'll do the I'll do the flight test. But anyway, after two three weeks or whatever it's been. And thousands of bucks. At least we can stop and steer this plane. See, because what if you can, even coming into here, and then you, you know, can't stop it, and you cruise up into, into her friend, November one, two one Bravo Kilo, or even some of these ones over here, or even that little thing. You know, it's got to be able to stop. Look, she's back here behind this other one who's getting worked on. One thing that's always bad is when there's, when your engine's apart and there's things like this stuck to your engine. This is the bad sign. When you, being in the maintenance hangar is like going to, yeah, no, I don't know what it is. But being in the maintenance hangar is like going to the doctor. You know, it, you need to go in the maintenance hangar Next thing you know, you'll be undergoing some surgery. And it may or may not t come out well. You know what? Yeah. But I think 83089 is, gonna, is recovering now. She's, she's in the recovery stage. Yes. Recovery stage, she had a horrible wheel problem. <laughs> it's like having a foot, it's like having a foot problem, probably. Yeah, I guess, yeah. For people, you know what? Yes. yes. You had a wheel problem, it's like if you're a human and you've got a foot problem. Right. Look at how complicated that is. That's what that guy said. He says, no, no, it's not just as simple. It's not so simple. So anyway, I hope Jimmy appreciates what we did. We took her into the hospital here, took good care of her. Gave her a, pro well, we gave her 
not a private room, but she had her own semi-private, and she's sitting here recovering her vital. I just came out to get some vital signs on her. It's Saturday night, and we just got back from San Francisco. But the most important thing was to check in on her because I haven't seen her in a couple of days. She she's happy to see me though. Well, no, yeah, a couple of weeks. No, no, I came out last week, but I didn't tell. But you know, because there was a, she was undergoing surgery. And we had to discuss what to take out, or what kind of surgery to do. But then, then she had surgery on Monday. Yes. So she's recovering.